Test, test, this is a test. Hi there quilting enthusiasts. Welcome back to my little channel where we dive into the wonderful world of fabrics and patterns combined to make quilts. Today I got a special treat for you as we embark on a pattern test using the Island Batik blenders. So these are from Island Batik. You can see that they have a little bit of texture in each other color. The colors are bold, but they're called blenders because you can match this up together and with other colors and they just blend really nicely because you have these different contrasts of fabrics. So I picked out six of these fabrics for the pattern that I'm testing and that left me one short because it's a nine color pattern and what I wanted to do was just have a little bit of flexibility with my stash to fill in any gaps because I picked them out online and you just don't know what you're going to get until you have it in your hands. The pattern that I am testing today is called Speculo. It's from Quilt Fairy Hill. I've actually patterned tested for her twice before. I pattern tested Nightlife and I pattern tested Table Runner called Tuxedo. They both still have to be quilted. But I love working with Hillary at Quilt Berry Hill. She has a really unique perspective on design and she displays things really clearly in her patterns. And I've never had problems with testing for her before, but we're gonna have some twists and turns regardless. It's a pattern test, it's not done. So I'm testing both the pattern and giving that feedback on where I stumbled, which is a personal problem, but letting her know where foolish people as myself may have difficulties. All right, let's dive into this pattern and see what it's made of. First off, the first issue that I came across, I found everything, I laid it out, but the layout turned out incorrect. It wasn't matching to the diagram, and that's because one of the labels was off. It was supposed to be like labeled G and it was labeled A. So that was just a little bit of formatting that I was able to provide back to Hillary to correct and then it was perfect. So I had the right strip in the right place and I was able to move forward. Second error was on me. I, <laughs> I made a bad cut. It, maybe it's not so much a bad cut, but I didn't cut the right amount of what I needed. I had a specific amount of yardage, I cut my strips, and then I had one more strip that I had to cut at a different length, and instead I had subcut the whole thing, thinking that was all I needed, and went back without looking. So I had to find another fabric to substitute in, and there's a little bit of difference. They're both blue, but in the middle of my block is a textured one, while on the outside it's a solid. No one, no one's gonna know, no one's gonna know. We know, I know, you know, okay, don't, don't tell anyone, but that's what happened. <laughs> As we stitch and sew, we encounter unexpected twists and turns, but that's the beauty of quilting, isn't it? It's an art form that thrives on the ability to adapt, embrace imperfections, and create something truly one of a kind. The rest of the quilt went together smoothly. I tested the throw size quilt they offer a baby size quilt as well. I didn't test that, so other testers in the pattern testing group were able to identify any kind of formatting um, on the diagram. There was a block flipped, and they got through all that together. So she worked out all of her quirks, and the pattern's available now. I was able to get the quilt top done. It's not quilted yet. That's gonna happen in September, because this quilt is actually going to a special charity, and I want you to stay tuned for how I quilt it and where it's gonna end up going along with a couple other projects that I have. So I hope you enjoyed that and learned a little bit about the testing world. And if you wanna participate, you can go on Instagram and search hashtags like quilt pattern testers wanted. Um, I'll share to my story. If you follow me on Instagram, it's Bobbin with Brittany. And I'll share different things to my story when I find other people that are pattern testing. I don't have time to do them all. I sign up for a lot of them. They're a lot of fun. You meet tons of cool people and make a, a lot of friendships. A lot of the people that I still talk to outside of Instagram, I met through pattern testing. Okay, my video cut out because it's 
doo-doo. <laughs> so the last note I want to make is that with pattern testing, there's different levels of participation. Some um, are just pure volunteer. They just do it for free. Some people will get gifts for doing pattern testing and then some of it's paid work and through a contract. So Hillary gave me a subscription to Prequilt, a design website, before she gave me a subscription to a magazine. And I'm super happy with that arrangement because then I don't have to deal with contracts and payment plans. So totally awesome. I love supporting her and it's super sweet when she thinks of these little gifts to, to hand over and she gives a final version of her pattern. Not everyone does that either. So, all right, now I'm ready to close it up. <laughs>